everyone. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the long-term care insurance. It's the most fun insurance we have. It's actually probably the most needed insurance we all don't have. But uh, for long-term care insurance, it can be very um, scary because no one wants to think about living in a nursing home. But long-term care insurance has evolved a lot since you know the 80s or the 90s when it was sold as really a, a nursing home benefit. Long-term care nowadays is more about needing help around the house, needing help to take care of you know yourself because maybe through either you know age or an illness or an injury, you no longer have the mobility, the function, or the physical strength to do many things that you could do before, or maybe even just the coordination to do things uh, that you could do before. Right? You got a stroke, or maybe you broke an arm, or you broke a hip and now you're confined or you have a difficulty doing things alone, bathing, eating, cooking, cleaning, etc. And if you have a cognitive disorder. So those are the things that Medicare, or sorry, those are the things that a long-term care plan will cover. Now, on the flip side, you can say, well, I got Medicare. Medicare covers home health and Medicare covers um, skilled nursing home. For Medicare, they cover services that are medically necessary. So if you need your house cleaned, that is not a medical medically necessary service that's needed by Medicare, even though we can all argue that, well, if you have a cleaner house, yeah, you'll probably be healthier. That doesn't fly, and unfortunately it won't fly with most insurance companies. They won't hire somebody to go clean your house because you can't. Um, Medicare kind of starts where, okay, you need to get fluids pumped every two weeks or something or two times a week you need to have someone come to the home and provide you with at home dialysis because you cannot physically make it to a dialysis center or you know maybe sure that's a service but you know things of that nature maybe an injection you need in your home because you know you, you can't get to the, the the office or physical therapy at home because the insurance company won't pay for your skin nursing home um but things of that nature, it's not going to pay for house cleaning services. Most most times it's not. And it's not really going to pay for someone to look after you 24-7. That is the major cutoff point. And unfortunately, um, many people don't really start looking for long-term care insurance until the need arises. And I'll tell you that it's far too late. Most people, like... Financially speaking, when you look at a long-term care policy, one that's going to be meaningful, and you're in your 60s, the policy will probably run you about a quarter of a million dollars throughout the rest of your life. So if you have, let's say, actuarially 25 years left, the policy probably will cost you $10,000 a year You know, for a meaningful policy. You're looking to get maybe one for every one dollar you spend, you might get three dollars in benefits. So that two hundred fifty thousand dollar lifetime total payment, you might get seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in benefit, or you know six hundred thousand, depending on you know the makeup, the structure, and and really um, how much or how how healthy you are, and whether or not you have a spouse. Because there's spousal benefits where you know you can buy a smaller policy uh, for each of you you have like a shared pool of benefits so that you know if one partner does get um, sick earlier you can share it or if you both want your own individual pools because you both like you both need your own individual pools then you know it, it can be um, you can buy in that, that way that's all going to come into play with how many things are going to cost so what kinds of policies are there? Well, there's really, I, I would say there's really three types of policies. The first type of policy is one where you are paying monthly, like a regular health insurance policy. This is, we, we call it in the industry as traditional long-term care. Traditional long-term care is something that you sign up for and you pay monthly uh, for the rest of your life. And these monthly payments, unfortunately, depending on the structure of the policy, can increase quite a lot every year, just like any standard medical insurance policy can. Like if you are at work and you have a medical insurance policy, the policy can increase uh, every year based on medical utilization, cost of medical inflation, things of that nature. We all know inflation is pretty high. So um, that's the first type, and that's going to probably be the most benefit. 
that does is it pretty much the, the way it's constructed is let's say you have a quarter of a million dollars and you put in a quarter of a million dollars into this policy you will probably get about a quarter of a million dollars of life insurance you probably have somewhere built in there an 80 percent or a 90 percent return of premium rider after like the first couple years and you may have a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar long-term care benefit you know that's kind of what i see when i when i build these it, it all depends again on age state a lot of factors on how you want the policy to pay out but that's pretty much the second way to do it it's, it's like a we call it a well i call it a, a mecked out life insurance policy that leverages um, long-term care over the life insurance and the reason I say that is because the third type of long-term care insurance is actually um, a life insurance policy with a long-term care rider. And what this does is instead of having, you know, your death benefit be, you know, three times smaller than your long-term care benefit, this one has your life insurance and your long-term care benefit almost equal. Usually it's about 80 to 90% of the life insurance face value is the amount of long-term care uh, benefit that you can pull out of the policy now with this type of policy again it's gonna be probably lifetime pay or at least 10 15 pay because you're gonna have to get the insurance the life insurance cash value um, it's a permanent life insurance policy so the cash value has to be strong enough to at least hold the policy afloat because you have added expenses of having a long-term care rider so with this type of policy you're probably going to need a little bit more time to pay in and you're probably looking at um again one to three you may be able to get away with one to four in this uh scenario just because people who qualify for this type of policy are usually a little bit on the younger side um because they have more time to pay so they're probably still working probably don't want to have to pay this thing into retirement because you know it, these policies are probably going to cost you you know like I said 10 to 15 thousand dollars a year so you're gonna need a lot of income to pay for that and that's kind of the uh the last type of long-term care insurance I mean there's some long-term care insurance that are attached to annuities they call like a convalescent care rider or long-term care rider that's not really um, insurance from my from my standpoint you might get like you know an extra 20 50 hundred percent annuity payout for you know a couple years if you qualify and sometimes the qualifications are you know like a year already in the nursing home before you can turn it on so I don't consider that really protection it's more of a, a fringe benefit of maybe the insurance annuity contract you have but yeah those are the three major types of long-term care policies now if you wanted to get something a little bit more short-term care, a little bit more affordable, in the next video, I'll talk about short-term care, which is something very uh, new to me anyway. And what it does is it covers the shorter duration and the quicker duration for long-term care. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.